Hello, my name is Andrea Pham and I'm Assistant Curator at the Singapore Art Museum, Singapore's premier museum for contemporary art. So we're currently at Gilman Barracks, which is a former British military barracks. In 2012, the entire area was turned into an arts enclave. So there are commercial galleries, there's um, NTU Centre for Contemporary Art, and also the Singapore Biennale. The reason why the Singapore Biennale is currently at Gilman Barracks is because our own museum is under renovation, but that's given us a, a healthy opportunity to explore different ways to curate contemporary art. In the past, I think there was a, an ability to sense a much more defined aesthetic and quality of art from specific areas across Southeast Asia. But as we're getting much more globalised, I think a sense of regionality is not so evident. Nonetheless, I think there's still a certain aesthetic that is very much Southeast Asian, whether it's down to the types of colouring or the stroke that are predominantly found perhaps in Indonesia or even in, in Thailand. Um, but also something that's quite specific would also be certain social political topics that are more pertinent to the countries that the artists are from. We're currently in the space by the artist Bu Suye Jo. She is of Akan ethnic heritage. She's also a self-trained artist and in this new commission for the Singapore Biennale, we first have a suite of very magnificent paintings that essentially charts the journey of an Akan prince as he hoped to make the lives better for the Akan people. But eventually, as you follow frame by frame through the gallery, you, you see that the Akan prince met a very tragic death. We also have a brilliant set of sculptures here. These sculptures actually are meant to symbolise the spirits that uh, the animist communities believe in. So they believe in spirits of the trees, of animals and also of the past ancestors. So here we have a gate that is surrounded by the ancestors of the Akan people as well as the spirits of um, fish, birds and, and, and trees. And also symbolically the gate for animist communities would be a portal into another world or into a different dimension. We are now in a space that we like to describe as being a mini natural history museum. Comprised here would be four artworks by four different artists from around Southeast Asia who have all figured a way to involve the natural and built landscapes and how humans have been involved in shaping, crafting and journeying through them. We are currently in the space of the installation by Singaporean-born artist Nabila Nordin. Her work is titled An Obstacle in Every Direction. And immediately what comes to mind when you think of the word obstacle is where is the start point? Where is the end point? What am I trying to navigate through? Am I being timed? Is there a prize? Is there a goal at the end? But what Nabila's work asks you to do is to take all of that pre-existing knowledge of what an obstacle course is and leave it at the door. Because as you enter into the space, you are entering into a space that welcomes alternative views of what journeying can be like. As you navigate through the space, you get to certain crossroads where you're encouraged to make a decision where you want to journey. There's no right, there's no wrong, but essentially in your heightened sense of awareness of where you're trying to, to move through, you start to pick up perhaps the textures, the precarity, the, the sense of unease that you feel, which are all welcomed essentially in this space through Nabila's artwork. You start to see something that seems very painterly, the textures could be a little bit more like cement, but actually underneath all of this is foam. So again, there's a certain sense that this might topple and then you, somebody might get injured, but actually underneath all of it is a very light and uplifting material. <laughs> 